Do you have a messy iron? Today I'm going to show you how to clean it with one of my favorite iron cleaners, Easy Off. Cleaning my iron isn't something I think about on a daily basis. Usually I realize I need to clean my iron when I'm ironing some good fabric and I get something on it because my iron is not clean. What I'm doing now is I'm setting a date on my calendar once a month just to clean my iron. That way I have a better chance of not marking or ruining a piece of fabric that I'm ironing. This Easy Off iron cleaner is used on a hot iron and go into your linen closet and get an old towel that really has seen better days or Save your scraps of cotton batting. Those are the two things that work really, really well to scrub the surface of your iron. Now I'm gonna show you my iron here. You can see I've got some yuck over here. I'm working with my Aliso TG1600 Pro. It has the feature of little feet popping up when it's in the down position. And then when I put my hand on the handle, it sinks into the fabric and then I can iron, right? So when I'm cleaning my iron, I wanna make sure I'm holding on to the handle in the upright position so the little foot over here doesn't pop out. The other thing that's important is you wanna rev up your iron and let it heat up so it's hot. I have mine set on the cotton setting. And then what I'm going to do is I've cut this towel into a stack of little washcloth size pieces. I'm gonna take some of the easy off and I'm gonna squirt it onto my towel. You know, you just need a little bit. Then I'm gonna upright my iron. And if again, if you're working with the Aliso iron, make sure you hold onto the handle. And I'm just gonna rub. Now it does steam a little bit, but I just want you to notice how nice and clean this sole plate is now. Okay, look how cool that is. Make sure that you really rub it and get the edges and the sides of your sole plate because dirt can tr travel up onto the edges once you've got a nice looking sole plate like this, what you're going to do is take a second piece of towel, lay it on your pressing surface, and give that surface some steam. Rub your iron back and forth, steaming the daylights out of it, like this, and then when you lift it up, what you want to look for is that the the vapors or the steam that was coming out of the holes has kind of stopped. You wanna make sure you've blasted out all of the cleaning product out of the vents. So I like to spend a good minute or two really steaming it on that towel. Then I have a beautiful clean sole plate and I'm ready to iron. I'm gonna put this iron away for now. I wanna talk about what I've been steaming on. In the past, I've talked about these Aliso multi mat wool pressing surfaces. And the problem with them is you can't put one on a cutting mat because it will melt and bend your cutting mat. So I've upgraded my experience with using a quilter's cut and press board underneath the multi mat to have a pressing surface on my table. You may be wondering why I'm using a cut and press board with a multi mat, it seems redundant, right? Because the cut, the cut and press board, you can press right on that, but it doesn't do as good of a job of absorbing the moisture and reflecting the heat back onto the fabric as these wool pressing surfaces do. I'm using my cut and press board as a stand for my multi mat, and I actually have a few different sizes of these cut and press boards and I made my own pressing surface a custom size. I can use all of those, which are bigger, to use the multi mats and hitch them up to make even a larger pressing surface if I want to steam a larger piece of fabric on my work surface. So I'm just sharing this with you as an option to protect your cutting mat because you can't put a half inch piece of wool on a cutting mat and press on it without buckling your cutting mat. 
That's why I'm using the double layer of the cut and press board with the multi mat as my ironing station. If you're enjoying these cool tools, remember to like and subscribe. I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.